Hello everyone, I am Mass Barnkop from Kaiser Power Electronics and today I would like to just discuss a little bit about YouTube statistics. If you have not seen this video by uh, FranLab, um, you should uh, take a look at it because she discusses a little bit about how uh, viewer statistics have uh, changed and how she noticed a sudden drop of new subscribers uh, around April this year. So, as uh, she considers herself as a small channel with uh, 60,000 subscribers, um, and I really do like statistics, so I wanted to take a look at how Kaiser Power Electronics uh, channel um, fared uh, compared to this. Uh, I am roughly at around just over 2,000 subscribers. Uh, I recently just made the cut uh, as being able to have a monetized channel. So I also feel that I have fought a little bit for uh, have my place on YouTube where I am today. So let's take a look at uh, compare some of the same charts and uh, date rates, uh, date ranges that a friend showed us um, in her video. So uh, what she really wants to show is that we can see the uh, the red um, bar, uh, the red graph at the bottom here is the the suggested videos, and this is where she noticed that after April there was a sudden drop in um, her videos being suggested out in the right bar of uh, other videos being viewed. So I want to see if I could uh, prove this to be the same for my channel uh, as one of the um, theories were, were that she is being punished for not having uh, Google Ads monetized videos whereas I have that um, and I do not use Patreon whereas she funds her um, videos from her Patreon. So uh, let's see if this uh, goes the same for a uh, Google Ads monetized uh, channel. So this is my uh, my data for the first uh, date range from 1st of December 2017 up until the um, end of October uh, last month. Uh, and as we can see here I had my featured videos um, from um, EEV blog. Um, but what we should really notice is here is the suggested video. As you can see, it really follows all the little uh, tops from where I published uh, some videos, and it does this consistently. And that's actually up until June uh, this year. I, I say back in April, I can not see a difference in the data as uh, she could, but it's really um, noticeable around here in uh, June, July that it just keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller while there's uh, some uh, large good peaks from uh, new videos being released. It's even more clear here if we zoom into the uh, same data range as she did. Um, we can see here at around April, um, maybe even prior to April, but it's not, it's not really uh, noticeable here. It, it just looks like all the other data, but suggested video really did follow um, the other graphs uh, beforehand. Now uh, look at the subscribers. This is really bad data to, to compare to hers because I have a huge uh, sort of, um, of subscribers when I had my video featured um, on EEV blog. Uh, but as you can see, I have roughly the same geography uh, for the subscribers. It's United States, United Kingdom, Germany, Denmark, Netherlands, Australia. So that's pretty even. Unfortunately, if I go on to the uh, same data range um, on her second graph, uh, I think there's too little data. So uh, it is uh, compressed and uh, anonymized by YouTube. So I will not be able to see single subscribers from single countries. But if we look at the data, it's fairly consistent with the videos I released and yeah, it's just a little scattered, but yeah, that's how it goes for a small channel. So I do not really notice a big difference here. So uh, her last uh, graph she looks at, um, ah, the last big graph at least, is uh, where the playback locations are. And as you can see here, I agree very much with her that YouTube is the primary source of views for a YouTube video. Despite that I use uh, all my YouTube videos to embed on my website and uh, the forum that I run. Um, but we can see here that it still accounts for 86% of all my uh, view time. So it is important to have suggested videos uh, because that is a huge uh, impact on the channel. But if we look around the uh, April, 
there hasn't really been much change. Uh, I, I'm in around the same and uh, the, the sorts from the uh, guest video and a little decline here. Yeah, you can expect that. But there, there's not much uh, to really uh, say about this data. Now comparing, uh, comparing the two week uh, differences uh, between January and September, I would say there's the little difference. I would expect more people to uh, look at YouTube in January than in September. Um, but uh, you can see here, I had a net of 10 subscribers in January, while at September I had a net subscribers of 14. So yeah, that, that's pretty much uh, online with my linear growth uh, uh, of my channel. So really, again, not much uh, difference here, especially not uh, like she has, then I would have a flat line here. But if we go back to the um, the first chart here of a almost a full, ah, three, four, three fourths of a quarter, uh, three quarters of a year uh, data, uh, I think it's quite apparent that there has been some changes to how small channels are featured in suggested videos because all the peaks are gone. Um, it has turned into a, a little more flat lining. So uh, there is definitely has been changes going on, but I can say that even smaller channels does not seem to be hit as hard. So yeah, that's all I wanted to do. Compare the statistics and um, I hope you have patience to wait for my next video. So until next time, see you.